Okay guys, so I guess you can see through the bag what we're doing here. Got some Hot Wheels. We actually got a bunch of Hot Wheels. This is... But what we have here is one bag of Hot Wheels. Then we have two more bags. Excuse me, two more bags of Hot Wheels. Because I didn't do a video right away, so... I have a big accumulation of them. So, we're going to start off with, uh, this will be a mega haul video, I guess, because there's a crazy amount of cars in here that we have to go through. So, I guess we're going to start with probably one of my favorite new Hot Wheels cars that they've came out with in a long, long time here. Getting right into it. With the duck. I don't know what I like so much about the duck, but I think this is cool. It's called Duck and Roll. I guess because I've always, I have always kind of liked rubber ducks, you know? Like, I guess that's why I like it. I don't know, I just, I like this for some reason. Usually I hate the fantasy cars like this, but for some reason I really like the duck. I couldn't find two of them though. So we're going to keep this one in the package. I, I feel like I will appreciate it more in the package because it's mostly plastic. The bottom's metal, but I think the rest of it's plastic. And um, I'm not really sure what I would do with it out of the package. Uh, I'm running out of shelf space. You know, so. Here's the uh, back of it here. You can pause and read that if you would like to. These are all from 2020. Okay, I'm, this is going to be easier. If I dump this out now, it sounds like I tore something up back there. It wouldn't surprise me if I did. Oops, we're, we're hooked on a package here. Oh, no, I didn't tear anything up. I just had to knock my tape over. All right. I don't, we don't need the receipt in there. We have a Road Bandit bus here. This is the red one. Kind of a more party bus looking. The Road Bandit taxi. So this kind of is almost a throwback to, um, I think in the 90s, Hot Wheels had a, a group of... Uh, cars. They were red and they had all kinds of crazy colors. And they were... Some kind of taxi. Uh, I'm gonna run over and get one real, real quick. Jammin' Tours. Uh, was one of them, but they were red. They're kind of the same colors. They're not as similar as I thought they were. Uh, okay, so they're not as similar as I thought they were, but there's that one. Uh, that one's more of a uh, party bus looking uh, road bandit. The other one was a uh, yellow. It looked like a school bus. Pause and read the back of that one if you want. Got cool one here. I think the re I hope the rest of them were opening up. Cause the first three we aren't gonna open up. Cool one in the Tune series. Um, they started making this one again. Uh, it's like 2013. I didn't start seeing it until here recently though. So this is the black one with the colorful decals. All right, let's get into one we're going to open up. <laughs> the 71 El Camino, the custom 71 El Camino with, I haven't decided if they're turbine engines or rockets or if this is some kind of time traveling car and it's a flux capacitor, <laughs> but whatever this is is whatever is attached to the back of this truck. 
They're in the uh, Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. There's a gray one that is pretty cool as well. I have that in a different video. So this one we're going to open up here. About time, huh? Didn't open any. Didn't think I was going to open anything up for here for a minute. Really pretty uh, paint job on this one, and the gold rims really match the uh, gold in the in the flames. It's a really pretty metallic red color. It's got a uh, gray metallic interior, which looks decent. Um, um, again, this, this is the car that just has the one headlight, the other one's poked out. Um, as you can see on the, the art on the card, I'd like to know the story behind who came up with that one. Uh, got some gold stripes on the indents in the tailgate there. Got the... Rocket engines, jet engines, not rocket, jet engines, I guess. I'm not sure what they are. Big chrome base. They're detailed enough to put the reverse lights in the tailgate, which surprised me. I really didn't expect anything on the bottom of the tailgate there. Okay, the very bright colored 76 Greenwood Corvette um, obviously the Greenwood Vets were uh, wide body cars uh, they have a uh, bit of history behind them uh, you can google that if you want to learn more about it this is in the race day series again as stay in the package I think for this one there's a couple of them that's going to stay just for the simple fact that I don't have room everywhere for all of them. I really like this one. I'd like to open it up, but I know I won't do anything with it. Looks like some of the decals or something's coming off in the package because here's some blue there and there. Maybe off of that mushroom end right there. I don't know. Uh, got Michelin, Hot Wheels, Chevrolet. It is turquoise and orange and yellow and black. Looks pretty cool. It's just very different. All right. The Urban Outlaw here. Mazda Repu Outlaw truck in this uh, Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. I don't know. I didn't even notice the number on the top of it before. 1552, it says on the uh, bed there. Why won't anything focus? Got the Urban Outlaw badge there. Hot Wheels badge. Still not sure what this little door is that opens up. I've never seen a Mazda Repu in real life. Or the equivalent of the Mazda Repu, which was the Maserati truck that I can't think of um can't think of what maserati called it but this is the mazda version of that truck they look almost the same um it says urban outlaw there i, I was going to say that's what that logo is i think that 52 is yeah the part of the logo for 1552 Same stuff on this side, no graphics on the tailgate this time, sometimes there are. Got the steel wheels, I think most of the time these little repoos have the little steel wheels in there, which look, they look good on the truck, so really can't complain there. Uh, yeah, this one did too. World, got some that's hooked together here. 
Okay. The I don't know what happened to the plastic, but we're going to try to read this. The 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. This is new for 2020. It's got a, got some graphics on it, pretty basic though. And the tail lights are white for some unknown reason. Uh, yeah, new one. Uh, the graphics on here are pretty good. You know, uh, Factory Fresh is a series. You can read the back there if you want to. Can read speeds of up to 212 miles per hour. It's the ZR1. I think I said ZL1 earlier. I'm sorry. It is a, a ZR1. I don't know where ZL came from, but I, I just feel like that's probably what I said. All right, we have the... Uh, my receipt told me what, what this series was called, which was good because I had no idea. Pearl and Chrome. Pearl and Chrome series. Um, 32 Ford. Uh, Hot Wheels has made this one for quite a while. They just... Um, they just uh, changed it a little bit. Once I pull it out of the package, I'll show you what the change was. Now, the only ones that I could find there at Kroger were the Muscle Speeder, the 32 Ford, and the uh, Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. I couldn't find the uh, the other three I definitely would have bought um, if, uh, if they were there. And you notice they all have a 52 on them. Uh, the significance of that 52, I believe, is because Hot Wheels has been in business for 52 years. You know, they had the 50th anniversary in 2018, which would, would put them at uh, 52 right now. So it's not really pearl and chrome, it's kind of a pearl and copper. But the change was, um, I guess it's how they uh, they redesigned how it was put together. Because it looks like this uh, mushroom post here comes up through the engine here. And that's why this part's metal. But on the old ones, this part's not metal. It just, I'm pretty sure it just stops right there. That may not be correct, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, you can see they came back out with this one in 2016. Um, they started making it in 1997. Um, like I said, though, it's not pearl and chrome. It's pearl and copper. I'd, I'd rather it be chrome, but the copper looks okay with the uh, orange and blue stripes. There's some light blue stripes in the parts of the decal and along the bottom there. It's a nice looking car though. Uh, let's see what's hiding under here. I did buy two of these then. I got one of these today. I was like, I don't think I bought this one. I ev evidently I did. But anyway, Audi R5, RS5 Coupe. And this is in the Hot Wheels Turbo series. Open that one up. We are not wanting to come out of the bottom today. So I, it wouldn't surprise me if this doesn't even have an interior because, uh, oh no, it does. Just it's hard to see. That's why I was like, well, it wouldn't surprise me if there's not one. Just for the simple fact that you really can't see in there unless you stick a light up to it. Uh, it's a very pretty uh, blue color, though. Got those newer five-spoke wheels that Hot Wheels started making. Wow. They did a really good job on the grill. You can see the individual 
holes in the grill. Okay, then you got your Audi logo there. It says Quattro down there at the bottom. Did a swell job on that grill. Wow. Good job on the on the headlights too. Your tail lights. Uh, is that a chip or what is this? No, it's not a chip because it sticks out. Piece of silver paint, I guess. I don't know. And we have RS5 on the license plate there. It says Hot Wheels. Some kind of emblem down there. Then the Audi emblem. The taillights. Obviously, I when I shine the thing in there, it's got a gray interior. It's got a glass top, is what they call those. Coupe. They have the, the um, little pronunciation mark above the E. Okay, this is a somewhat odd looking car to me. Come to think of it, I'm not sure why I bought this one. Um, but it is a McLaren P1. And it's a pretty color. Turquoise, metallic turquoise. Kind of a light turquoise, but... I don't know what other color to call it. It's in the Exotics series, of course, with it being a McLaren. That one can stay in the package here. We have a 89 Porsche uh, 944 Turbo. It's in the Porsche series. Porsche or Porsche, depending on who you are, you say it differently. It's a new casting for 2020. You can read the uh, back of it there. Some of them have info on the back, and some of them don't. This one's going to come out of the package. There's a pretty um, gold one that they have right now, too. Hot Wheels does. Um, can someone explain to me the stethoscope in the back? Did they use this car for... Like maybe a uh, retro entertainment car, which would be from a movie, um, and the maybe a doctor or someone drove one of these. I don't know. It's as said as a new casting. So somebody explain the stethoscope. Maybe the package does. Is there anything about a stethoscope in here? No. Nothing about doctors either. Just a fun little thing I guess they threw in there. Alright. Stethoscope aside. They did a good job uh, painted in all the lights. It's just that most of the lights are red so they don't really show up very well. But they did paint it. It's got the turbo badge up there. Painted in the, the lights. They even got the little ridges that they put in the plastic headlights painted in there they're doing a pretty good job with their graphics now when they decide to put them on they just don't do that all the time wish they did that all the time but you know to i guess to keep them cheap they don't do that uh, usually they're a dollar or they're 97 cents or today they were 50 cents at uh, kroger because they're on sale these weren't though. I already, I already um, bought these. So this is awesome. The '52 Hudson Hornet um, in the Rod Squad series. This reminds me of uh, Doc in Cars, of course, because he's a Hudson Hornet. But in his racing themed paint job, um, it's quite similar to this, the fabulous Hudson Hornet, and. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's, so that's what this reminds me of. Uh, so this one's going to come out here. <laughs> this package was full of air when I pulled the cardboard back. I felt the package compress. <laughs> so it's got kind of a satin finish to it. It's got some 
gashes going from the top here down through the window. It's got some. It's got. It's got a couple marks on it. There's one on the hood. There's a horrible casting line going across the front here. Um, maybe satin wasn't the best choice um, for this specific casting, but it looks really good with this paint job. Uh, and I like it says Hot Wheels Rod Squad. You know, it even tells you what series it was in. It's got the steel wheels on it here. You can see the exhaust coming out the side there. Uh, no badges or anything on the back there. <clears throat> it says Hornet on the front. It's got a red interior. Really, really cool. Did it give a year on that? It doesn't on the bottom. But... 52. That's kind of what I figured, but... All right, high beam. Tell me, is this a special car or not? Uh, this is a artistic gymnastics Tokyo 2020 car in the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 series. It's the only um, Olympic Games car that I've seen so far. There's the. Uh, Top of it there says Tokyo 2020. Looks like it's got a carbon fiber roof. That's what they printed that to look like. It's kind of an odd looking car, but uh, there's the back. It's even got a scanner code on the back there. Join the Tokyo 2020 fan zone. Okay. You have your Olympics official licensing stuff there go for the gold with vehicles inspired by the olympic games okay well that's the only one i've seen so far uh we have a uh new age twin twin mill here the twin mill generation e in the dream garage series the reason i got this was because i like this uh gen e twin mill a lot better than the first release of it uh the first release of it was uh it was a pretty turquoise color about the color of this uh corvette back here but um and i think this suits this specific car better so that's why i bought this one I, you know they've made twin mill since the beginning so that's why i bought that because that's the new age twin mill all right here we have the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo in the Porsche series. They surely did not put that mouthful on the... Yes, they did. They put all of that stuff on the bottom of the car. Wow. Look how small that is to fit that all in there. So, mouthful of a name... Gonna call it a Porsche station wagon because that's what it looks like to me. I like the black headlights in there, that looks good. It's got a Porsche badge on the front of the hood there. I don't think I've seen one of these yet in person. Panamera Turbo S. Porsche. Got some tail lights there. Pretty basic, just a white one, but that's what I like about it. You know, it's not super flashy. Pretty cool. Alright, going in theme of the station wagons here, we have the 64 Chevy Nova wagon, the Hot Wheels with Flame series. This is a really, really cool one. I got one of these today. Um, if I can find it in the bag here, I'll just pull it out now. 
and we can look at it because uh, since I pulled that one out, I was going to open that one. That one's got a really, really nice card on it. And the one I bought today has a fold in it. So we'll open this one up. But it's the exact same car. I just had an assumption that probably one of the cards was better than the other one. So why open up the good one and hang up the bent one if you have a nice one to hang out. So I really like this blue color on the uh, edges of the flames here because it's kind of it's kind of metallic. If the light hits it right, it it almost looks like it glows. It, it just shines. It's really pretty. It's got some gold uh, beauty rims on the wheels there. Really pretty uh, flame job on here. I like this car. They've done a lot of cool stuff with these Nova wagons though Hot Wheels has. Uh, the Art Cars series car was a tie-dye car, had a big E on the top of it. And that's a, excuse me, that's a pretty cool car. So, I like this one as well. They need to do something on the back here though. You know, maybe not flames, but the Hot Wheels logo or something on the back there just to kind of break it up. All right, the 42 Willys Jeep uh, Willie's MB Jeep in the Baja Blazers series. Uh, this will be a package car, although I have the military Jeep version of this out of the package. Um, it's a Jeep plus a, you know, plus a little bit. It's pretty cool. I like the white, um, I say white accents, I guess. It's got a white parachute in the back. It's got uh, white wheels and white interior. Then the sponsors and everything are white. It says Goodyear, JB, Willen, Willen Wheels, I think is what that says. And then 42, because it's a 1942. Uh, it says Goodyear again on the top, or on the... Um, behind the hood there and then it says Hot Wheels on the hood. They kind of hid their hid their logo in the, the flame job on this one. That's a, that's a really cool uh, car there. Nothing on the back of that one. Alright, more cream and chrome. Uh, the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. Apparently they did a car like this. Got their logo there. Evidently they did. Uh, they all have a 52 somewhere on them. This one just happens to be little. Open this one up here. You know, this is just a different take on their um, satin and bronze or satin and chrome series of cars that they did a while back. Um, you know, something like these. So these were last year's were 51s, this year's are 52s. If they continue this trend, I bet next year's cars for this, uh, I don't want to call it a special series, they're not any more expensive than, well, no I guess they are. Um, everything else was a dollar, these were, okay, 49 cents more. So. Uh, I guess they are a little bit more expensive, but um, they're not made any any better. You know, they don't have a metal base or anything. Uh, out of the package, they just look like a mainline car, but um, they're just kind of a special series, I guess. Gas Monkey 68 Corvette. I don't ever remember this on Gas Monkey Garage, but I'm not saying they didn't do one. I'm just saying I didn't see the episode where they did that. Maybe they, maybe this was before, um, before they had their show on TV. Who knows? 
I don't even know if that show's still on TV. I haven't seen it for a long time. All right, got another station wagon here for Momo steering wheels. Uh, Datsun Bluebird wagon. It's a 510 wagon. And this is in the Speed Graphics series. Hence the um, sponsorship uh, sponsorship decals on the uh, on the car there. So far, all of our wagons are pretty scale. You can see the difference between the cream and the white here. Just a little bit more pearl and chrome is what these were. Not cream and chrome, they're pearl and chrome. I was going to say this one's a little bit more pearly, and that's what registered with my brain. Oh, I'm calling these the wrong name. But anyhow... Kaido House. I don't know what that is. I don't know what JNG is. It looks like it's got a picture of a wheel, so maybe those are wheels. Momo, I believe, makes steering wheels. They probably make other stuff too, but... Got some uh, yellow rims on the uh, wheels here. Momo, Momo, Momo again. No uh, <clears throat> lights or anything is not painted in. Another scratch on our back window there. Wonder what's causing that in the packages. Well, okay, I guess I have three of those. I better start carrying a list with me. Uh, I figured out what RBR was earlier. You know those big boxes that they sell these in? With the dividers in and the big blue displays, well, part of one sided the the display instead of being a grid pattern, it was a much bigger grid pattern, and um, it had these car culture uh, transport trucks in it. I'd never seen any of the uh, car culture vehicles in a uh, this uh, cardboard display like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, the RWB. I think I said RBR before. I'm I'm having some problems today. The RWB Porsche 930 Aerolift. I assume this is probably Aerolift. Yep. <laughs> I would have bought this, but it wasn't there. Looks like they kept this in theme, though. We have a Plymouth car. Looks like this is probably a Dodge. I haven't seen the front of this truck, so I don't know. Uh, RWB is Raw Welt Begriff. Isn't that what that door says? Raw Welt Begriff. That may mean something to somebody. It doesn't mean anything to me. Obviously, these are more expensive. If you collect the car culture cars, you know that. I'll mess with that later. Alright, first let's check out the truck here. Then we'll check out our car. Uh, so the truck uh, has a metal base and all of what's purple. Oh, nope. The sides are not die-cast. The cab is die-cast, and the base is... That's why it's so front-heavy. That makes sense. Yeah, this this rear part that's purple is not die-cast. Sky, ocean, rain. RWB Malaysia. With a skull with a thumbs up. Got some kind of mustard-colored wheels. Uh... The car has a matching set of wheels. Does it come down? Oh, wow. comes down, too. That's, that's nice. Yeah, this, this track part here is plastic. Uh, what are we running here? Maybe a Mitsubishi? They, they made... Mitsubishi and Chevy made pretty much the same 
uh, cab, but uh, I don't know what that is. That may not be either one of them. It may be a, something foreign, like a man or a DAF or something. Uh, I got it. This is Aerolift. It's a pretty new casting. And this has the no tread tires on there. Uh, slick, slicks, racing slicks. I'd say they've tubbed out this Porsche a little bit. Those those wheels are pretty deep in there. Got the RWB. We have raw welt, it says on the on the top there. What the world needs now is raw. Nope. There's a G in there. Tough. What the world needs now is tough. I don't know. I see O U G H. I can't. Rough. What the world needs now is rough. I think is what this is. Maybe it's an R. Anyway, the car's all metal. Except for the pipes on the back there. Those would be kind of pokey if they were metal, I, I would assume. The RWB Porsche 930. Wow, they even licensed the, the base of it there. It's got a heck of a wing on the on the back there. Whatever the front of the uh, bumper says, it's a nice car. It's a really nice set. That um, purple and gold looks really good together. I feel like this is gonna scrape when it comes off though. Yeah, right there it does. You you wouldn't want that if if you were unloading at the race. But it's a nice set. Okay. Gonna get into our second bag of cars here, even though we're running kind of a long video here. We're we're gonna keep going. Why would we stop halfway through? That wouldn't make sense. The 95 Mazda RX-7 in the Hot Wheels Turbo Series. Uh, these I got today. I think most of these we're going to open up. So. That wasn't me. My camera just kind of decided to ad adjust itself down. So I guess we're going to angle it down. Have Mazda Speed is what it says. The little Hot Wheels logo down there. Number seven. A Mazda logo there. Again, Mazda Speed. I can't tell if there's any metallic in that orange or not. I think there's a little bit of metallic in there. It's a nice looking casting though. Got a chrome gas cap on it. All right, you guys saw that one. That's the one that we had to stick a flashlight on top of to see. That one I meant to buy two of um, for uh, hanging on the wall. Quick Bite, the ice cream truck here, which used to not be called Quick Bite, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. This is in the Art Cars series. Hot Wheels has gotten into the habit of a casting that they've made for a while will have a metal base and a plastic body when they redesign it. Uh, like this truck used to not have these uh, aerodynamic skylights in the back of it here. It just had the, the horn on the top and, it, and that was cast into the the van that wasn't um a clear thing uh they also made the ice cream guy look kind of creepy it used he used to have a smile on his face and holding a popsicle he doesn't really look like a person now he looks like uh kind of looks like a skeleton or something i don't know 
it's it they've changed this uh whole truck a lot it used to not be plastic either it used to be metal with a uh, plastic base on it um it went through a couple different names originally it was the good humor ice cream truck and then it was it was something else before it was quick bite now it's quick bite i can't for the life of me come up with what the uh name of it is that i always think of it's not quick bite though it does say quick bite on the uh, door though and of course it says ice cream here we have graffiti style spots on this side. Hot Wheels with some running paint there. Uh, on this side we have icicles. And you could take that as icicles or running paint. The front of the truck still looks the same though. They've just changed everything else about it. For what reason, I, other than making the quality less, I have no idea. We have the 2016 Bugatti Chiron. This is the Factory Fresh series. They have a, Hot Wheels has a pretty one of these cars that is blue with a, uh, I think it's blue and black. And then of course it has the, the chrome stripe that goes around there. I like the headlights on these, the separate square headlights. It looks good. Now, they don't do that on the model, of course, but it looks good on the graphic. Not a whole lot of graphics on this one. The 2017 Nissan GTR R35. This is the 2020 uh, 50th anniversary model version. Man, they've, they've made the GTR for 50 years. Is that what they're saying? I know they've made it for a long time. It says 50th anniversary right on the right on the back. Maybe not the GTR specifically, but um, I think they made the Z cars before the before the GTRs, but that may not be correct. I'm not up to date on that because that's not my sort of thing. All right. We have two 1996 Porsche Carrera cars here. They're both in the Porsche series. We're going to check out the yellow one here first. Bright yellow, canary yellow, I should say, with a little bit of pearl or metallic in there. Nice detailing. We have the Carrera badge on the back there. Some tail lights. Painted in the louvers there. It's got black spoked wheels on it. Got a Porsche badge, and they did the headlights for us there. Pretty smooth on the bottom here. 1996 Porsche Carrera. So that's a nice one. Black one is exactly the same. That black one would have looked good with a, uh, um, like a camel colored interior, saddle color interior. That'd look nice. All right, one more humongous bag full of Hot Wheels here. I, it would appear that 90% of these come out of the package. So, we're gonna, we're gonna start off with this one here in the Speed Blur series, the Custom 2001 Acura Integra GSR. It says Speed Blur on the door there. It's got some wacky graphics on it. The gray plum color and then pink wheels the interesting color combination but it's not a bad one it 
that it works on this car. Now, it wouldn't work on every car, but kind of a gray plum color. With pink wheels and all sorts of different colors in with the white graphics. Got some orange and some pink and some blue. It says speed blur on the top of the hood there with Hot Wheels. Got gray tires on it, dark gray tires. This side is completely different from this side. Huh. Almost looks like some letters in here. We got an A and an E. I know there's no letters in there, but kind of looks like it. Got an Acura emblem cast in there. Okay. All right, let's pull out what we're not going to open up, and then we can open up everything else. Roller toaster. No, I want to see what the special feature is on that. We'll open that up. I was looking at this. I was going to compare it to the one I have. It's just like that. Um, I don't have one of these for the wall, though. That's why I, was, I wasn't I was too hesitant about buying it. Uh, same with this one. I knew I had this one, but I don't have one for the wall. I have as many for the wall as I do out of the wall. Out of the wall. Out of the package. Fast Foodie Series with a Hot Wheels hot dog. This is when they should bring back the Oscar Mayer Wiener, Wiener Mobile Hot Wheels car. They should put it in this Fast Foodie Series. Uh, we have roller toaster here. It is a toaster car. Looks like the toast goes down, but I want to see for myself. Looks like this car is mostly plastic. But I want to see how well this works. It doesn't really go down in there all the way. Just... Okay, not that cool of a special feature, because it doesn't go down all the way. But, there it is. Uh, Hot Wheels Roller Toaster. Got the plug here. I like they included the, the electrical plug here. Hot and fast. It's got a picture of the car with a mouth and some sunglasses. And fire coming off the back of it. I assume these would be like knobs for... Adjusting the darkness of the toast, how much it is toasted. They go all the way down. They just don't go. They don't go all the way down. They're not. They can, but I don't really think they're supposed to. I don't know. I just wanted to see what it was like, so I opened it up. There it is. All right. Total disposal. This is a new one for 2020. Hot, 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 hot Wheels Metro series. Uh, you can read about it here. Okay, um, this is the recycling truck version. There's also a trash truck version, which is blue, I believe. Well, I tore my graphic there, but I'll work around that later on. So they did cast in some bags in inside of there. The compactor does not go up and down there. Hot Wheels Rapid Recycling. Got the caution yellow around the rims there with the caution stripes. I feel like these could also go in the tuned uh, series. They just kind of remind me of something like that. Our cab is loose. That's what happens when they make them out of plastic, though. It's got fire extinguishers on the bottom. It rolls really good. I bet it... I bet this probably does pretty good on the track. 
Although it's really short, so it may not. But it wouldn't go flying off, I don't think. Because the all the weight's in the bottom of it. The 88 Honda CRX in the Honda series. I don't know why I like this car so much, but I think about every time they come out with one, I buy it. This is pretty cool, though. I really like these graphics on here. So I bought yet another one. I couldn't find two of these. I'd like to have one to hang up. But I've got enough to hang up. So I will just continue my search for this and maybe a duck to open up since I talked about that. They did a really good job with... Um, they did graphics almost all the way around. There's nothing whatsoever on the front. But that's okay because... It's got some really cool graphics on the side. Simple but cool, you know. It's it's racy, but it's not over the top like this thing, you know. Which, I like that one, but I think I prefer this. The gold spoked wheels look good, too. AD8 Honda CRX. All right, Bone Shaker. It's a pretty iconic Hot Wheels car as well. It's in the Dream Garage series. They've made Bone Shaker for quite a while. There's no year on the bottom of it, but I was hoping maybe there'd be a copyright year. All right, we're going to open this one up here. I haven't opened up a Bone Shaker for a long time. I think the Bone Shakers used to have a hole in the top. You know, you could see the seat inside and everything. Well, we may open this up. Good grief. We're going to get this car out of here. I told you about my log book. That's why I try to keep the picture of the car somewhat decent. That's why I always open them from the bottom. So yeah, I believe the old bone shaker had a cutout spot in the top. They they changed a little bit of it, but it's still bone shaker. You know, it's it's uh, not changed too much, and it's still it's still die cast. It's got a satin uh, finish. Yeah, it might be a matte finish on that. I think that's a matte finish on that one. Bone shaker, Hot Wheels. That's pretty cool with a skull. I think when they first started coming out with this, it had a skull on it. Uh, it says Hot Wheel HW, that's what it is. With the steel wheels on this one. Got the skull on the front there. Very iconic car for Hot Wheels. I think the old one had a window in the back of it too. Just a little bitty one, but I think it had a window. Yep. Here's a skull shaker, which is just a tuned version. See, tuned. It's a tuned version of Bone Shaker. Um, see, it's got the skull and everything. This is how the old one. Obviously, it, it was normal like this one, but it had um, it had the window back here, and I think the original one had a window in the back too, but that may not be right. But it also had a hole in the top of it. And it looks like our... I don't want to say he's German, but he kind of looks like maybe he's a German uh, fighter plane guy. You know, with a, the mustache and the goggles and everything. Maybe not, but that's what he reminds me of. A uh, special feature. I bet he rocks back and forth because he looks like he does. Yep, he does. Yeah, he rocks back and forth. All right. The 92 Ford Mustang in the Art Cars series. I'm going to open this one up here. They've done a couple pretty cool Mustangs um, for the Art Cars series. They did a uh, the 65 Mustang. 
for the art car series. It was yellow and pink and blue, and it, it was all kinds of crazy colors. This is a heavy casting. I'm kind of surprised. It's kind of a chunky casting, though, so, um, you know, it, it's got more metal to it than, say, something like this. Um, HW Art Cars, I like that. They always say what series. It's got turquoise, like, dark turquoise tires. It's got an O on the top. Probably spells Hot Wheels. I don't know. You know, you get the whole series, you can spell something with them, I believe. I've never actually cared too much for the, uh, this body style of Mustang, but I like the um, graphics that were on it. Here's the interior. That's a surprisingly heavy casting. Right, man, I bought a lot of orange cars today. They're not the same. They just kind of look like it. We have Time A Taxi, the Metro series. This is the one that the door opens up on, as you see there. This isn't my favorite one, but I did like the colors on this one. I bought I bought this one first came out. It was red, and um, this is only the second one that I have bought. I really like the uh, colors they chose for this one, though. Kind of a, a dark orangish brown color, and then the gold and yellow. Here's the door, which is plastic, so I'm always afraid it's going to break off when I open it. Got a box of tissues back there in the back window. Uh, there's something, something sitting in the back seat there. Maybe a tray or something, I don't know. Maybe a tablet, I don't know. Pretty cool, though. The other door does not open, just on that one side. Alright, then a car of about the same size. The 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 in the Baja Blazers series. Wow! Well, that was ready to come out of the package. Now you're going to have to separate the plastic on that one because it did it on its own. That says a lot of sponsor sponsors on it. And it says Ford on the front because it's an Escort. It's got the rally lights. Rally California 2020. Let's zoom in on that so you can see that a little better. Alright. I'm going to spin around to the side here and I'll read these off and see if it starts to focus for you. I'm sure it won't though, so why would I think it would do that? Sparco. I think that's an S. Sparco. Bell, Goodyear, of course Ford, since it's an Escort. E I Bach. I Bach. I have no idea. We have Hot Wheels Racing. <laughs> I do know what that says. I like they include little hood pins. It's a nice little detail there. Nice, uh, nice car. Moto Wing in the Rod Squad series. This has an interesting combination of wheels. It's got the steel wheels in the back and the narrow, I don't know what those wheels are called in the front. I wish it had a little guy that fit on there. You know, some of the motorcycle type of Cars, you know, come with a little guy. I believe this is a surfboard that he's carrying with him there. I 
No, I was, maybe I was hoping to hit a little passage there we could and save as a surfboard. I assume it's a surfboard. Whatever it is, it's cool. Okay. Runaway Rescue. This is a uh, airline fire truck. Hot Wheels Airline Runway Marshal. This is in the Metro series. Looks like our uh, boom arm shoots up and down. Or moves up and down for the, uh, the hose there. And I, I can see just by the weight of it. The size to weight ratio, I can tell that it's plastic before pulling it out of the package. Um, but I liked it. It's cool. The base is metal and then of course the rest is plastic. But So maybe not the greatest made, but this is one that the special feature actually works. Does it have any? Yeah, it, it stays up on its own. It doesn't have to be all the way up to stay. Got some squirter jets on the front there. Big bumper. Pretty cool. It's got off-road tires on it. That'd be a heavy casting if that was metal. Too bad it's not. Heavy hitcher. The special feature for this is kind of silly. I mean, it's a tow truck. You probably can figure out what the special feature is. Its special feature is that it can tow a car. Um, this is the Experimotors series, which it says right on the side there. This is another one that, although it has a lot of plastic on it, I still tend to buy it because I like it. I can put up with it being plastic. It goes up and down, you know, but um, that's about it. You know, if you find a heavy casting, you know, I don't get a lot of metal on it. I figured that one would weight it down, but it doesn't really. Anyway. It's kind of looks like maybe, nope, not the same kind of truck. It's got three windshield wipers, big metal push bumper on the front, some flames, Hot Wheels, Xperia Motors, Garage. Pretty cool. This one has an interesting base on it as well. All right, I, I, I finally broke down and I, I bought a Golf race car here, the Ford GT40. I thought that was a pretty iconic one, so I bought that one. This is in the Race Day series. I wish my camera would stay propped up instead of wanting to go down all the time. So, of course, Hot Wheels has made the this uh, GT40 for quite some time. 1999, oh, it looks like they quit making it for a while. 1999, and then it came back out with it in 2019. I have a couple of these from the early 2000s. Not golf cars, but um, GT40s. There's your golf logo there. If you couldn't tell by the iconic colors. Pretty cool. Though I'm glad I got this one. I don't buy all the golf cars that I see. I know a lot of people do. Um, I like them. I just don't buy them because I don't need a whole bunch of them. Alright. We got a couple more here. About three more after this one. The 68 Dodge Dart. It says Mopar on the side of it here. This is in the Speed Graphics series as well. Now they shape this package really well to this car. Now some of them roll around in there. This one, that one has no room to roll around. But we can fix that, can't we? Set that one free there. 
very pretty blue color. They're still having trouble centering their stripe, though. They're getting closer, though. The green one I had, the stripe was pretty off-center. This one, they're, they're getting better, but it's still off-center pretty bad on the front. It starts off good in the back, but kind of goes at an angle. I always put a pretty color on this one, though. This one is blue. Uh, the last one, I think, was green that says Mopar. There's a purple one. It doesn't say Mopar, but there's a purple one that's really pretty, too, that I've got. That's a nice one there. All right, got a character car here. This is Captain Hook. If, if the camera would stay up, I'm, I can't do anything about it. I don't know why it's falling down. Um, we're going to open this up just because I want to see it out of the package. There's this uh, series of them here. I was going to get Timon. They had Timon. I didn't get him, and they probably won't have it next time. Um, but I got Steamboat Willie and Captain Hook this time because I think they were my two favorites out of the uh, series of six that they have right now. Captain Hook is putting up a fight to come out of the package here. Just out of habit, I open that from the bottom. So, not so much so looking at it now, but before I compared the two, it kind of reminded me of the Cruella de Vil car. But with, like, an auburn boat tail in the back there. You know? I mean, it's kind of a combination there. Pretty cool looking car here. Got got Captain Hook's sword there. And the feather on the top of his hat up there. That's clever. The hook comes around the spare tire here. That's pretty clever. Put a white wall on the tire there. There's a good attention to detail since they actually put white tires on the car for some reason. At least they actually make white tires. You know, the blue tires and stuff, I don't really care for. They make white tires for old cars. Um, like very early cars, you know, like Model Ts and stuff, you see they have white tires. This is kind of past that era, but at least they make white tires. They don't make blue tires, I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, just says Captain Hook on the bottom. I can see that sword getting caught on a bunch of stuff. Luckily, it's, it's a little bendy, though. So, maybe it won't break it off immediately. They could have bent it up like that, though, but... Instead of bending that to the point where it breaks, we'll quit messing with it. This is a new one for 2020. It kind of intrigued me. I I can't really give you a good reason why I bought it, other than it was different. It's in the Baja Blazers series. Geoterra. What's that say? Angulo Racing. Angulo Racing. Got a little bug here on the. It's a neat one. For I thought that one was metal, but looking at the metal base it has, I am gonna take a wild guess. It's probably plastic. It's a neat looking car though, even if it is plastic. I'm tempted to open it, but. Uh, there's the um, little passage there at the top. Our wall stack has never been so high. We've reached the top of the uh, drawers behind there. That's just a big haul video, though. I mean, we've 
we covered a lot of cars here. All right. Another character car here, Steamboat Willie. This is a really cool car. Um, I was actually surprised they hadn't come out with a Steamboat Willie car before. But they did a good job on this one, so I'm glad that they they waited and came up with something good. Um, it's got a lot of nods to the nautical, you know, of course, Steamboat Willie drives the steamboat. And his little, his little hat here. They included in the big barrel in the back of the car. It's got a life preserver there, kind of a, a tip to the nautical stuff. The it's not a spare tire on the back; it's a uh, life preserver. Uh, if you can see the little indents in it, maybe you could tell that it's a. There you can see it's a life preserver. It says 1928 on the back. I assume that has something to do with Steamboat Willie. I'm not sure when he came out, but I think it was sometime in the 20s. Um, you can see the windshield is his eyes. The headrests are his ears. His nose is the grill. It's got little headlights hidden down there under the grill. It's got... Uh, and the car is entirely black and white because, of course, Steamboat Willie is entirely black and white. Here's the bottom of it there. Just a really cool car. I, I'd like to open this up. Oh, that's a cool feature I didn't see. I'm glad I saw that. His, his ship's wheel that he's always turning and whistling to when he's driving. Look. The ship's wheel is the steering wheel for the car. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I saw that on the camera. That's pretty cool. And then the the they've um, in the old old time cartoons uh, like Steamboat Willie, all the whistles pretty much look the same, um, and they look quite a bit like that. You can see the little notch in that first one there, indicating the. They are the little whistles, so that's cool. They they've added a lot of um, a lot of cool uh, features to this car that are nods to not just Steamboat Willie, but um, just cartoons of that era. So that's pretty cool. I really like that car. I hope I see another one of those to open up, but I know I want one in the package. Uh, so. I think that's going to do it, and then I'll rearrange these for a, a good thumbnail for the video, or somewhat good. Whenever whenever I have a combination of open and packaged Hot Wheels, it's hard to do a, a, a thumbnail, but we'll figure something out. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video, and uh, happy hunting if you're looking for any of these cars.